Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Welcome, Jenna Kramer. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as we broadcast a little play out of Dallas, Texas. How are you today? I'm good. I love your name. Just wanted to say that. Thank you so very much. I like Jenna, too. Thank you. Well, my audience <laughs> can know that April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. And there were two explosive documentaries, Leaving Neverland and Surviving R. Kelly. I don't care what side of the fence that you were on, they were explosive. And Jenna's here to talk about how she has partnered with Committee for Children. Okay, let's talk about child abuse prevention. Let's give, give some answers. Those explosive documentaries that I, I mentioned gave us some questions, but now we need some answers, Jenna. Yeah, I mean, it's... Look, at the end of the day, um, you know, those, those documentaries were were intense. But I think what's important to, to kind of take away from that is 90 percent of um, the victims know their abusers. And I think, you know, in that scenario, it was the same thing. And I think it's really important for parents to just be, you know, very aware of the surroundings and who, you know, the who the children are around and their relationships because of that statistic. I mean, it's it's overwhelming, the fact that, that 90% um, of these, you know, of the victims know their abuser. I, it, it makes me kind of, you know, stand back and be like, wow, like this, you know, I, I really have to be careful of, you know, and, and, and help my child understand boundaries and, and of what's, what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, with the hot chocolate talk, um, it, they're, there's a guide for that, for children, for for families to be able to talk to their kids and help them walk through this because it's it, it's scary, but it doesn't have to be if you talk about it. Give us an understanding of what the Hot Chocolate Talk is. So the Hot Chocolate Talk is basically um, a place where parents can go and find resources and guides on how to talk to your children. So, you know, I have a three-and-a-half-year-old little girl, so there is – you know, I, I would click on that age, you know, under five, and it's how to how to talk to your child about um, private body parts, how to talk to them about, um, you know, people and touching and what's right and what's wrong. And then there's other older age ranges, too, from like eight to nine and 10 years and, and teens, because the conversation should keep going. It shouldn't just be like, oh, I, I had the conversation with her when she was three and a half, and now we're not going to talk about it again. It should be talked about often. It should be talked about open, and and you should have an honest conversation about it. And because it is, it's something that's out there and is happening every single day. And it doesn't have to be if we're, you know, if, and if we can stop it by having these open conversations, you know, I'll, I'll I'll talk about it forever to to hopefully help. And I know you may agree with this. That's a conversation that moms and dads can have. It doesn't just have to fall on us moms for that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and they definitely talk about that in the hot chocolate talk. But for us and our family, I mean, we like no joke made hot chocolate because it doesn't have to be that. Okay, let, let's sit down and have this. You know, yes, it is a very serious talk, but it also is some should be like ask us questions, and we want we we want you to come to us and feel comfortable, and we want we want to be comfortable talking about it too. Because if we're not comfortable talking about it, they're not going to be comfortable coming to talk to us. So I think just being able to have that like open honest conversation, be comfortable, we're going to welcome that, you know, for them so that they don't feel shy or weird about talking about like, hey, this happened. Was this okay? It's like, no. And let's, let's, let's talk about it. And let's, you know, so we can not let this progress or. I can understand that. Well, what happens when, and this is, I was recently thinking, this is on the same topic, a major organization uh, uh, came out and said, we had hundreds of pedophiles on our roles while we had these activities going on, and now your kids are older. Do we go back and talk to them? And I know you're not a psychologist or anything, but I know you're a mom, and there is no better intuition than that. Yeah, I mean, you got to listen to your mom gut. I mean, I think it's the greatest tool that any mom has. Um, but also, it's, again, like, start now with your kids. Um you know, there's no better time to start than now. Um, if you're, you know, if you're like, oh, well, my kid's nine and I should have started earlier. It's like, no, like start, start now. Start, you know, it's, is it better to start now than when they're the teens? Yes. But if, you know, you haven't and there's, there are teens now, like just still have the conversation because maybe, 
maybe they need to talk to you about something and, and they don't feel safe or they feel uncomfortable. Um, so just be have set the environment of that warm. And that's why they call it the hot chocolate, because who doesn't like the inviting, you know, sounds and smells of hot chocolate? So just let it be comfortable and inviting. And so that way, you, you know, your kids will feel like it's OK to talk about it. Jenna Kramer, as she said earlier, she's a mom, but she's also a country singer. And she's, she's partnered with, you know, uh, the uh, Committee for, Children, yeah. for having this conversation. Jenna, real quick, what's going on with your career? I have a new single out called Beautiful Eyes. So that's uh, playing all over Sirius X on the highway. So I'm really excited about that and uh, just loving the mom life. Well, you sound like a great mom yeah, also. Thanks. We know you're a great singer. Yeah. Thank you for gracing the Valder BB show. Is a place for my audience to go online? Um, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Is a place for my audience to go online for the Hot Chocolate Talk? Oh, yes, absolutely, the thehotchocolatetalk.com. Thank you so much, and good luck in all that you do. We'll look for that lovely voice. Awesome, thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.